Hello there, and welcome to this tutorial on how to monetize your prompts by building a no-code AI app and integrating it with Chip using Zapier. Chip allows you to implement a pay-per-use credit system in your app instead of charging per month or year. Let's get you monetized from day one with no code required. Step one, when a new user signs up in your app and is added to your database, make sure that they have a unique identifier. This is often called their UUID. This is usually a long string of random numbers that uniquely identifies your user. You must have a UUID for each user. Step two, create a chip account at chip.ai. Create a new app, give it a name, and set the amount of free trial credits you want to give your new user. I'm going to give them 10. In the branding and checkout page, you can change the logo and select the accent color. Make sure to click save. Step three, set up a zap that triggers when a new user is created in your database. For this demo, my database is Google Sheets. Just replace this for your preferred database. The second step should then pass the user's UUID to Chip's Get User Credits event. This does two things. One, it creates what's called a new consumer in Chip that's related to your unique user. And two, it returns the number of credits that your user has. Ensure to copy and paste the API key from Chip's integration tab into Zapier when setting up Chip. Step four, look up the row in your database for your user by searching for the row with their UUID. Next, update that row with the number of credits that Chip returned in step two of your Zap. If you don't see a field for credits in Zapier, make sure you've created a credits column in your database. This won't be there by default. Step five, now your new users are signing up and receiving their free credits from Chip. Next, you need to display how many credits they have in your no-code interface. Create an element in your interface that takes the value of the credits column and displays it in your app, either in the main interface, on their account or profile page. Amazing. Step six, your users now want to spend their credits. Create an input field in your no-code interface. This will take your user's text, mix it into your predefined prompt, and pass it to an LLM like OpenAI's GPT-3 or GPT-4. Step seven, in Zapier, create a new Zap that triggers when the user clicks the generate or send button in your interface. Make sure you pass both the user's input and their UUID to Zapier. You might need to set up a webhook in Zapier that responds to the on-click event on the button in your app. Check your preferred no-code apps documentation on how to do that. In the second step, choose the get user credits event in Chip and pass the user's UUID to check how many credits they have. Next, you need to set up paths in Zapier. One path rule is for users who have less than one credit. And the second path rule is for users who have more than zero credits. Step eight. If your user has less than one credit, they need to top up and purchase more credits. Choose the get URL of the hosted package purchase page event in Chip. Pass the user's unique identifier again and input the URL of the page you want to send the user to after they complete their checkout. This could be your no-code app's thank you page, the home page, or the user's profile page. It's up to you. You then need to set up a way of navigating the user to this URL when the credit balance is zero. This step will look very different depending on what no-code app you're using. A pop-up notification with a button to the checkout page URL is probably best. Step nine, now set up the path for users who have some chip credits to spend. This is typically where you'll do all the fancy AI magic. For this example, I'm going to use the send prompt event with OpenAI. I'm going to use the DaVinci 03 model and add my user's input from the Zap's first event into my custom prompt. In this case, I'm asking GPT-3 to become an expert marketer and copywriter so it can write Facebook ads for my user's product descriptions. Remember to configure OpenAI with Zapier. You may need to go into your OpenAI account and copy and paste your API key into Zapier. Step 10, store OpenAI's response in your database. In your no-code app, decide where you'll display the output to your user. Often right next to the input field is best. Step 11, create a new deduct credits from user event in Chip. Pass the user's UUID to Chip and decide how many credits this action costs your user. I'm going to decide that this costs them one credit. Step 12, the credit has been deducted in Chip, but you need to ensure the credit amount is the same in your no-code app's user database. Create a get user credits event in Chip. This is the same as step two in your Zap, but now the step will return a value with one less credit. Now find your user in the database by searching for their UUID, 
Then update the credits column in your database with the result of the second get user credits event in chip. This should automatically update in your no-code interface to inform your user that they have spent a credit. And voila, you've implemented a pay-per-use credit system in your no-code AI app and monetized your awesome idea from day one. Now get out there and tell your people about your awesome app and how it doesn't cost them $15 to $100 a month to use. As you build up more advanced features, you can convert your users to a monthly subscription, which can also be handled by Chip. Have fun monetizing your prompts and make sure to safeguard them. They're your secret source in this world of no code and AI. If you haven't already, head over to chip.ai forward slash no code tutorials to find more tutorials on how to integrate Chip with your favorite no code tools.